I call the next part of the dinner special podcast the pressure cooker. I'm going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, number one. Uh, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? Oh, I always uh, watch uh, Jenny Oliver's Food To You. And that I found really, really entertaining. And, you know, you learn a lot from it. I'm not, uh, although I'm, I really love cooking, I'm not a fan of, you know, all these sorts of uh, gizlian types of cooking shows that now air. But that I really like. Perfect. Number two, what are some food blogs or websites we have to know about? Oh, there are so many of them. I am um, uh, pretty much in love uh, with this um, uh, food blog called um, Hardest Natural Cooking, uh, who is written by uh, uh, Valentina Sofrini, who is an Italian girl who has lived a, a long amount of time in New York, and she is amazing, very inspiring. Um, the other blog that I really like is uh, the Vanilla blog. I really like it, especially for the design. She's also a, a fellow Savior uh, finalist. Um, I love uh, um, a friend of mine who's actually, it's not quite a blog, but she has this uh, little food strategy company that is really amazing and it's called We Factory. Um, um, and, and, and what else? If you want to know more about uh, some good uh, Persian cooking, there's another blog, was another Savorn uh, finalist a couple of years ago, who's called uh, The Bottom of Pot. I think these are really good. And there are, you know, too many of them. I could make a list that would never end. Right. Now, number three. Who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, or Facebook that makes you happy? Ooh, I um, I follow way too many people. Uh, people who make me really happy, especially in the terms of photography. Um, one of them is uh, Call Me Cupcake, the blog by this... Uh, amazing Swedish uh, blogger who's called uh, Linda something I don't want to mispronounce her last name so I don't say it uh, the other one is by Beth Kirby who writes the local milk blog and her photos are just you know out of the world um, I also follow um, two red balls I love them uh, my blue and white kitchen and uh, these are, you know, blogs that I follow these people on, on uh, all, almost all of their socials. Um, and and they're, they're very good, special in terms of, you know, the, the visual impact. Perfect. Now, number four, what is the most unusual or treasured item you have in your kitchen? I don't think I have any... Um, unusual because especially when once you have entered the world of you know food nothing is really unusual my most treasured item is definitely my saffron because it has it comes from iran my mom has you know has made it for me prepared it for me and it's a tiny little box and a tiny little jar and it definitely is the most precious one great now number five name one ingredient you used to dislike that you now love uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat? Yeah, sure. Name one ingredient that you used to dislike that you now love. Oh, there are so many of them. I, I almost hated all sorts of vegetables, and now I love them, especially eggplants. I hated eggplants, and now I love them. This is <laughs> really funny. <Yeah. laughs> Great. Now, number six, what are a few cookbooks that make your life better? Oh, I have... Um, I have this cookbook called uh, What Katie Ate, which is the name of the same blog by uh, the um, Irish uh, photographer and blogger Katie. Uh, I don't remember her last name. And uh, again, I love her photography. Another cookbook which has definitely made my life better, not now that I cook, but when I was younger, is actually a Persian cookbook. It's a huge cookbook. Um, by uh, Miss uh, Rosa Montazami, Iranian, 
uh, lady who has, you know, who has this huge cookbook, which is a must in all of the Iranian kitchens. And then by the Italian ones, I am the um, Artuzzi cookbook, you know, the, the, the very famous cookbook by Artuzzi for, about the Italian cooking. They're very good. What's the name of that Persian cookbook? Do you remember or? Uh, it's called, it's just called the cookbook of, uh, of Rosa Montazami. It's something like that. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll check that out <laughs> later. Yes. It's now, Rosa uh, Montazami. Okay. Perfect. Now, number seven, what song or album just makes you want to cook? Uh, um, well, there is some sort of happy bumpy music that gets me cooking. I love, uh, uh, I love Juno's soundtrack, the movie, uh, and there are some certain certain songs on that album that gets me, you know, and that I get relaxed. I said, okay, let's let's whip up something. Perfect. Well, congratulations, Sagar. You have officially <laughs> survived the pressure cooker. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs>